find this volume of the soil when this shaded area is general rotated 360 degree about the y-axis how can we do that so the key distinction is like where okay so for example integrating 0 1 we will, we will think that okay this is i'm using this as a guide this is not actually true it's not correct but i'm using this a guide to generate the correct formula then you will see so okay when you want to find the area the, the region usually you think okay if you integrate with respect to y the limits are in terms of the y so 0 to 0 to 1 and then inside we have the because we want to integrate with respect to y we want inside is the uh, x um, and then okay one more thing because there's the we are talking about vo uh, volume of solid so we need to pi this add a pi multiply a pi in front and the inside the, the equation the thing we here we need to square it okay we need to square it so this is this is the idea but how can we integrate x with, uh, with respect to y obviously we can't so we need change to wrap with respect to to x okay so let's think of it this way so this one we need to change it to x and this limits if i change this change this to x all these limits must change in terms of x then we have a way of saying using this to minus this because you see so if we do it here okay this one for let's find the the volume generated when we rotate this part first so from 0 to pi if you rotate the entire part alright okay so this is my pi over 2 which is here the pi over 2 so this part when I generate the volume of solid it will give me this okay you give me this of that of course that's not not what we want yeah but first thing we have this and then after that we minus away this part we minus away the middle right how, how do we do that so first thing pi I change this dy is how do I get dy in terms of dx so I'll get dy dx equals to cosine x correct and then after that dy equals to cosine x dx so then I can change this to cosine x dx so I change this to cosine x dx right then my x square is just x square so I don't need to change it in unlike the usual case where we always change the x to y and then integrate with respect to y this one we instead we change this dy into dx in terms of dx and then we change the limit to in terms of x so when we change the limits to in terms of x, then is is then is flexible. Then we can integrate. We can we can integrate to the the domain that we that we want, right? How? Because you can take from here to here, right? We still need to follow the order zero to one. So from pi to pi over two, it's not pi over two to pi because pi over two to pi is one to zero, but one zero to one. So pi to pi over 2 okay and then if to get here to get here I will minus pi integrate 0 to pi over 2 0 to pi over 2 why 0 to pi over 2 0 to pi over 2 because 0 is cosine 0 no, the side 0 is 0 and side pi over 2 is 1 so 0 to 1 okay and so we are taking this Area my this volume okay generated by this area minus away the volume generated by this area okay then we will get um still it's the same form same from x square cosine x dx right but we also have the other side okay for the other side it is actually um it is actually this minus 1 to 0 minus 1 to 0 and um, also we are using the x square okay the dy okay so same thing here except a bit of x square dy is still is still this thing but we are just integrating so we add integrating the different range so from here to here this is 3 pi over 2 so we are integrating 
okay, take this minus this because this is nearer to the y axis. So we always take the one further away from the y axis to the one minus the one nearer to the y because it's this larger volume minus away the smaller volume. So we have plus. 3 pi over 2 minus so minus 1 to 0 so 3 pi over 2 to 2 pi 3 pi over 2 to 2 pi so because sine 3 pi over 2 is minus 1 and sine 2 pi is 0 so minus 1 to 0 so correct so x square cosine x all right dx uh, and then minus away this region so minus away um so still three pi over two because uh, minus one to zero so two pi so x square cosine x dx so the whole the volume generated is this entire thing but i mustn't forget the pi outside everything okay and um okay so if this is the whole thing okay what are the common mistakes that uh people make the common mistakes people make is thinking that the volume of the four parts the this generated the volume of generate generated by sh rotating this 360 degrees is the same as the volume of this generated 360 degrees no that's not true they are different okay let's give you a very simple example and you know why they are different imagine this length is the uh, okay this 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 square and this square okay if they are generated about the uh the, they are if they are rotated about the y-axis in 360 degrees for this square the solid the volume the solid gen the volume generated is this but for this this square when they rotated about 360 degree the the volume generated is is just a ring without the without the center okay it's just it's just a volume it's a, just a just a ring okay so without the without the center so obviously they are uh, different okay so you will see a, a volume like this right when you generate around so this volume and this volume are different so even though they are the same square area when rotated about 360 degree they don't give the same volume Okay, so you can't just take uh, find the volume generated with this and then multiply by 4. That will not give you the... You can't find the volume generated by rotating this 360 degree and then multiply by 4. That will not give you the, the volume of the solid generated when you rotate the entire thing by 360 degree. Because this part is further out. This quadrant is further out than this quadrant. They won't give you the same uh, volume generated. Therefore... From here, we are supposed to integrate. Okay, you just need to integrate uh, actually one one of them and then just sub it in. So, x square uh, cosine x when you integrate. This will give you... How do you integrate this? You use integration by parts. So, integration by parts, you will keep the... Based on L-I-A-T-E, you are supposed to keep the algebra and uh, integrate the trigo. So if you keep the algebra and integrate the trigo, you will get this, then minus integrate this. You put in this is just integration by part, right? Mm, and then you differentiate the x square, you get 2x, okay? dx. And then you can continue for this part, you can continue to integrate another time. So same idea, keep the algebra the two I can, actually I can bring out the two so I, inside it's just sine x and x I keep the algebra and integrate the sine x, sine x I get uh, minus cosine x then minus integrate minus cosine x differentiate x so I'm done so just checking so these two I bring, I bring out so there's no more two here okay so sine x times x. So if I keep 
uh, sine I if I keep x I integrate sine x I get minus cosine x okay minus integrate them the minus cosine x bring in differentiate the x I get one so yeah that's that's correct so I will have um I complete this so sine square uh x square sine x so plus two x cosine x correct and then uh plus two times when I integrate minus cosine x I get minus sine x inside okay or you can think of it as this uh, 2x cosine because there's a minus 2 okay this is you can think of it as this plus plus okay then you might multiply minus 2 minus 2 inside this one cosine x when you integrate you get sine x then minus 2 multiply you get minus 2 sine x same so we have we have this we just need to put it in so we are integrating x square or cosine x dx here only so we can replace then yeah, let me do it let me do it here so x square cosine x is this um is this thing when you integrate x square cosine x so you change everything you need to substitute pi, pi to pi over 2 and then multiply a pi outside so I put a big pi and curly bracket everything from the first term onward down to the last term so I have this thing keeps repeating so x square sine x plus 2x cosine x minus 2 sine x Okay, I want this to be um, pi over 2 to pi. No, or we say pi to pi over 2. Okay, so then minus, because of this minus sign, bring over minus. And the same thing again, x square sine x plus 2x cosine x minus 2 sine x. And then we have... 0 to pi over 2 okay and then plus x square sine x plus 2x cosine x minus 2 sine x which is 3 over 3 pi over 2 to 2 pi and then the final one I take minus the I don't have to put all this pi because the pi is just outside is later I will multiply it in to all of these terms so here I will just bring it in again x square sine x plus 2x cosine x minus 2 sine x and in the lower limit is 3 pi over 2 to pi 3 pi over 2 to pi so 3 pi over 2 to pi okay can so then uh, we will have or do we have so we just need to simplify just need to substitute the values inside and you see that actually the volume generated for each part right will be different okay so for example pi over 2 when i substitute inside sine pi over 2 we know is 1 okay so pi over 2 square give us pi square over 4 times 1 plus um pi over 2 we get pi cosine pi over 2 is just cosine pi over 2 is 0 okay so this will disappear okay let's draw the cosine graph to help us nope the cosine graph is I use the red line on this instead to help us with our computation okay so sine pi over 2 is just zero no um then we are we are in that okay so um pi okay wait sorry i forgot 
the pi outside so from here sine pi over 2 is 1 so pi over 2 square is pi square over 4 plus pi over 2 times 2 is pi but cosine pi over 2 is 0 so 0 times anything is still 0 and after that pi, sine pi over 2 is 1 so um, then times minus 2 so this is minus 2 okay but I still do need to minus this thing right so a substitute pi sine pi is 0 so this term disappear cosine pi is uh, minus 1 okay so minus 1 2 times uh, 2 times pi 2 pi so minus 2 pi so I'm substituting this 2 pi and cosine pi is minus 1 okay so minus 2 pi and um, pi again pi sine pi is just 0 so 0 so I have it the first term here okay so you do it for the rest okay for this this and this so for this this and this and then finally you simplify okay or you can also then later on you use your graphic calculator you just key in all this and evaluate and see if you get the correct answer okay uh, that's it for this tutorial I hope you understand if you have any inquiry leave uh, uh, you leave a question uh, in the description uh, in the comments I will get back to you or you can email info at our hour dot com okay you can visit my website at www.ourhour.com as well Okay, that's it.